Hello dear coin collectors and numismatic enthusiasts. Today we are diving deep into world of numismatics with 7 super rare US coins that fetch large sums at auctions. Hit that subscribe button below and let's get started. Number 7. 1964 D. Roosevelt Dime with Attractive Toning. Graded as MS67 FB by PCGS. FB stands for Full Bands Designation, indicating the fully struck motifs of the torch on the back side of the coin. According to Stax Bowers, dominant charcoal copper obverse toning yields to splashes of more vivid gold, blue and pink iridescence toward the lower right border. Untoned on the reverse, with smooth surfaces and billowy mint frost throughout. It ended up selling for $920. Number 6. An Error Coin. 1946 D. Washington Quarter struck on a dime planchet. Graded in Mint State 61 by Annex. Highly lustrous with deep rose and golden brown toning. Very fortuitous centering for such an error, with a date and mint mark on the flan. Such wrong planchet errors are always visually dramatic and desirable. It was sold for $2,937.50. Number 5. 1925 Vancouver Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. According to David Hall, the Vancouver Half Dollar was struck to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the founding of Fort Vancouver. The coins were sold at $1 each in August and September 1925. But the founding of Fort Vancouver was not really an event of national significance and sales were relatively limited. The original sales were only 14,994 pieces, which in subsequent years made the Vancouver half dollar one of the rarer commemorative half dollar types. In fact, by 1928 29, Vancouver's were fetching as much as $10 in the numismatic marketplace, though they settled back down to the $6 to $7 range by the 1930s. Today, the Vancouver is considered one of the more desirable coins in the 1892 to 1954 Classic Era series. And indeed, Vancouver's are scarce in gem condition. This superb gem was sold for $2,880 on January 22, 2024. Number 4. 1971 S. Eisenhower Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC with star designation. This beautiful superb gem is toned in multicolored iridescence that is most vivid at the borders. It is smooth and attractive, a great acquisition for an advanced Eisenhower dollar collector or toning enthusiast. It was sold for $2,040. Number 3. 1942 Jefferson Nickel Struck on a Silver Alloy Planchet. Type 1 Variety. Extremely rare transitional error. This heavily circulated error coin was graded as good 6 by PCGS. 1,943 dated cents struck on copper planchets bring spectacular prices, but similar wartime wrong alloy transitional errors on Jefferson nickels are significantly rarer. The present lot is struck from Sands Mint Mark Type 1 dies, yet is struck in the silver alloy composition associated with the Type 2 design bearing a large P Mint Mark above Monticello. It was sold for $9,987.50. Number 2. This is 1918 D. Lincoln sent in MS66 red condition. Very tough date in full red, this piece absolutely glows with a light lavender highlight. An absolutely beautiful piece with immaculate fields. This outstanding gem ended up selling for $17,500. Number 1. 1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, standard practice was to place the mint mark on the reverse of branch mint coins until 1964, with only a few exceptions. However, beginning in 1968, mint marks were moved to the obverse, usually near the date. In 1968 and a few again in various later years, the S mint mark was left off of proof dies. The key is that those were proof-only issues that were sold as part of complete proof sets. There have probably been instances of mint marks left off of business strike dies, but how would you know? The first no S proof coins were the dimes of 1968. A small number of lucky collectors who ordered sets that year received the special sets, and word quickly spread in the hobby that all 1968 proof sets required examination. This superb gem fetched a sum of $35,250 at auction. That's all for now. 
Hope you enjoyed this episode and found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you did. See you in the next video.